So, sorry about that long outro last time. Uh, in the grand tradition of all the other ones, these do have um, boss pseudo-title things or whatever. So, last one was Arctic Rumbler Frost Walrus, and this next one is Aqua Destroyer Jet Stingray. And uh, this one's important. Just gonna... Okay, cool. Our video's a little laggy on this end. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, so that one, that one's important. Uh, and this isn't even a translation thing, I don't think, because we were looking at Japanese footage. Yeah, and it... Those little description blurbs are the same, like literally the same in English and everything. He destroyed the city and escaped to the sea. That sounds pretty fucking maverick. Right! Exactly! So, I think what they were trying to do with that was, okay, this uh, jump coming up, you don't jump, you fall in and get that heart tank. Cool, there's your tip for this whole part of the level. Don't die. <laughs> I fucking hate this stage. That on its own is a hold. I know. Um, so... I think what they were trying to do with that description is go into the whole everything isn't so black and white, there's some gray area, but that's just, like, aggressively terrorist. Like, yeah. you call us Maverick, so we'll blow up the city. It's like, no! Like, why? That doesn't even sound Where like something... Where are the politicians in all of yeah, this? Yeah, that doesn't even sound like something that late game general would order, because even then, he still sounds pretty passive about everything. He's still stupid for whatever reason, but, like, he wouldn't, like, you just go bomb him literally just bomb innocent people. It's like, it defeats the purpose of everything you're talking about. So, just that on its own. So it's like, it's hard to consider them in any kind of positive light, regardless of any of the other descriptions, because immediately we're given one that's just like, he's a terrorist. He's just a terrorist. Like, that's it. Like, there's no other way to misconstrue that. He just killed people for no reason. Also, fighting Stingray in that whole section doesn't affect the boss fight at all. And fuck that stage, it's so aggressively lazy, and I hate it. I got, I'm so glad that I did it. Aggressive yeah. laziness is going to be a recurring theme for this game. It kind of is. Uh, there's just... God, like, that's the point that ruined Ride Chasers. So. I, I just like that, as of X3, <laughs> there's a vaccine for the Sigma virus, but it's never used again, and instead we just beat the fuck out of Mavericks. I wish that it would at least get mentioned. I cock his pattern up, but now the fight's super boring, so it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it could at least be mentioned. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if Sigmas was just like, that only worked on me the one fucking time. I yeah. mutated, so that'd be fine. But it's not mentioned at all, so it's just like, all right, well, never mind then, I guess. But like, um, we can fix these mentally ill people. Let's just beat them up instead. It also wouldn't surprise me if that was more weird translation. Mm. We'll ask about that. I have no idea. So, this is also a recurring theme, speaking of laziness, is uh, most of the boss fights in this one, once you have the weakness weapon, get stunlocked even more than, like, uh, Jesus, Spark Mandrel. There's so much information going through my brain right now. Um, and it, it, it's just like this for most of the PlayStation games, which is one of my other many pet peeves about them. It's like, never mind the weird perspective, or the off-putting music for the most part, or, like, weird anything. It's just like... Jesus, like, none of the bosses feel satisfying to fight, really. Some of them do, but not a lot of them. Yeah. But that stage is completely out of the way. The only other bit of advice I can give is try to jump at a mid-ground to get that sub-tank. Um, and you can kind of, like, scoot right off of it onto the platform and not worry about crashing. If you do do a jump and land in the water, you need to jump, like, right fucking away, because there's a really annoying jump delay, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. in, on the ride chaser segments, and if you do it too early or too late, you will just run right into that and die, and it just fucking sucks. But yeah, so, already two down. We're going on to the next one, which, uh... I like this one a lot. Steel King of Destruction slash Beast. <laughs> Steel King! But yeah, so, this one would be another lighter side of the gray spectrum of like he's just defending their supplies. Looking at all of the boss intro all of the Rebel Force boss intros, the only one that's actually aggressive is Stingray. Yeah. Like he's the only one that's like he just attacked some bitches. It's like, okay. But like all of them, that's the thing, is like he didn't attack some bitches, he just like <laughs> attacked all of them. Yeah, like the other one like Walrus was he's defending the weapon in the snow base. That he works at. Yeah, but that's the thing is like they're they're, they're guarding super weapons and stuff and like super I think weapons. well that's I mean, yeah I mean there's not a whole lot of plot based around that but like they're arming themselves which well, like and I know I know like they're military unit and stuff but it's like 
it's it's hard to construe it as anything else. And again, that would be an interesting discussion to have in the game. It's like, well, if you guys are bad, then why are you stockpiling weapons? But they don't address those questions. They just go into the boss chart. It's like, this fight will be over real quick, X. And it's like, why do you want to fight me? You are saying yourselves that you're not the bad guys. <laughs> and then in this one, he almost says, like, there's probable cause. Because his dialogue is going to be... Attacking my unit was reckless and foolish. Um, you are nothing but my prey, one that is soon to be retired. I think almost word for word. And it's like, on the one hand, you're right, attacking his unit is stupid and weird and aggressive and everything, because, like, that's not what should be happening right now. But then he immediately goes on to say, it's like, I'm just gonna murder you. It's like, stop it! You're not, you're not helping! Nobody's helping at all! Well, the only one with clear motivations in this entire fucking game, aside from Devil, is Dragoon. And Dragoon's motivations are retarded. They're almost interesting, but not like, for the scale of stuff that's going on. At out. least they're, they're explained. It's like, okay, I understand why you're doing it, I just don't know. I they're understand dumb. why, but I don't understand why. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah, there's not a lot to say about this stage, luckily, so we can just go on more and more about stuff. Um, what else is there to do here? Shoot some boxes. No, 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 I mean, some... I, I mean like to how discuss. The, the army vets never seem to duck in this one. They do, it's just a lot less frequent than normal. Yeah. I don't really know why. Like, I mean, it's nice, but I think at the same time it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having mets. I think it's mostly that they start walking towards you for the most part. I don't, mm. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, but we're going to get introduced to our first uh, new right armor in a while. Well, I guess kind of in Scream 2 they come in. But um, this one is the Raiden, which is not electrical themed at all, but whatever. Uh, I like this one. I think it's pretty cool. Its design is neat. I like the uh, official artwork for it. It's not quite as dynamic in this, but uh, they changed the attacks up in a really interesting way. You can basically just steamroll everything by doing that dash, jump, slash, because that slash hits like three times. It'll ruin everything. If you hit the corners of those trains, they explode, and that's only useful for getting that, and then everything else is just... This is neat. It'll look at me destroying parts of the level, which... You know, it's an aggressive thing for pacifists to do, blah, 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 whatever, but... Well, I can't help but notice that the ball soldiers in no way resemble the soldiers shown in the opening In the cutscene? Cut I know! So, there's there's official artwork in the book of the ones shown in the cutscene, including officer variants I, of each. I guess the Those, officer variants are in the right armors, but... Yeah, but they don't resemble it at all. Like, you can see their hat. No, no, I mean in general, like, between the two, like, they don't match at all. And I just wish they had done a better job of that, because it would really make it a more cohesive entire thing. Yeah. Where it's like, all right, the rest of this is rocky, but at least there's that. But these guys are just straight up like mass-produced mechanoid looking guys. Like they don't, they don't look like it at all. And I mean, maybe if you look real close, they're a whole hell of a lot fatter. Than yeah, they they're are. they're very stylized at best. So it just, I'm gonna call them different. I yeah. think they're different. There, there Pretty we go. Sure they're different. Also, Ripple Force has. Just like a hard on for berets. Yeah. Like berets are rad. Pretty much all of the bosses in the game that are Rebel Force have a beret of some form or some other fancy headgear. Yeah, which I like. I mean, it's cool that they're stylistically similar. I think that's neat. There's positive stuff about yeah. this game too, just it's not quite there. But I'm gonna throw salmon at a, a thing, a beast, whatever. But this is what I was talking about earlier. And I love his intro, though. Like, it's so cool that he, like, runs alongside the train. It's good characterization for what is otherwise a very dry game, in my opinion. Foolish and reckless, you are nothing more than prey. Oh, like, word for word, basically. One that is soon to be retired. Okay, great. Excellent. I'm, I've played this a lot recently. <laughs> and, like, watched it a lot recently. Fish. So... His weakness pattern is really easy. Just... At least it's an actual fight. Yeah, like, you're still actively avoiding him. It's not quite a stun lock, but it still kind of is. Like, it's the middle ground, basically. Uh, there is one boss in this game that reacts well to his uh, weakness weapon, which isn't until way later, and it's a weird one to do it, and it's one of the only times it ever happens in the series in general, so... Uh, it's cool when we get to it. But yeah. So that's another two down... 
And I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, a little voice a vocal break because <laughs> I've just been angry this whole time and talking about video game politics and stuff. But rest assured, there is still there's still much more to say as far as I can remember. So look forward to that.